Hallelujah, hallelujah. God is a good God. Praise your name, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Let's give the Lord a big, 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 big shout of praise. Woohoo! God is a good God. And we want to celebrate. Tamang sinabi ng ating worship leader, our youthful worship leader, Chriselle, that it's a happy birthday to all of us. And I love the, I want to call it, hashtag Pentecost. Fresh, Pentecost, fresh smile of Mark Robert Corpus. I'm looking at him now. Yan ang tiyatag na Pentecost fresh. Can you tell yourself today, I am Pentecost fresh. Hallelujah. And we are so, so ready. We don't want to miss a thing. We come before the presence of God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let's raise both hands and we will be praying for our favorite prayer here in the Feast at Home, Feast Valle Verde, together. Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I'm God's beloved. I'm God's servant. I'm God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world in Jesus' name. Amen. And before we continue, my dear friends, I want you to know that we will be talking about you become the God that you follow. So it's all about whether you like it or not, whoever you follow, you will become like that. So if you have a, a friend who's following the wrong person, who's following the wrong entity, who's following the wrong principle, who's following the wrong principle, who's following the wrong conviction, who's following the wrong, basta wrong. Yan. I-share mo yung link na to or tag your friends along like many of you are doing in Facebook Live. Tag your friends. It's not about you. It's about God. The best gift that you can give to the Lord on the church's birthday is Jesus Christ himself. We will be honoring the word of God today. Here we go. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. For the word of God, let us open our scripture to Matthew chapter 16, verse 16. It's very easy to remember. Matthew 16, 16 says, Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. What a powerful word and statement. We honor the word once more. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Let's give the Lord a big, big hand, everybody. God is a good God. Praise you. We honor you, Lord. You are a king of kings. You are the Lord of all lords. Hallelujah. You are my Lord. And your church celebrates its birthday today. And it's my declaration as we continue. Get ready for your Pentecost miracle. Not only that you will be Pentecost fresh. Hashtag Pentecost fresh. Just like Mark Corpus. But we'll also getting ourselves ready for the Pentecost miracles of God. Place your hand over your heart and make it your declaration. Say it. Today I will receive my Pentecost miracle. In Jesus' name, amen. Here we go. The title of our discussion would be Unredeemed Lives and Saved Souls. Is it possible, Brother Obet, na in highly involved ako sa peace, pero unredeemed ang aking buhay? Pwede. Sabing ganun ni, ni St. Paul, I must come back to the Lord. Sabi niya, I forgot already where, it, where verse, but it's along Corinthians, 1 Corinthians. I, I, I long to be with God because even as I preach to many, I might lose my soul. Can you imagine it's St. Paul? But he was telling, he, he would preach to many, others will be saved, and he himself will not be saved, even if you are a Saint Paul. Ganun kalupit. So ibig sabihin, it's possible that your life will be unredeemed, 
kahit na kay Lord ka. If your life in the feast, if your life in the church, if your life, your spiritual life is nothing but a pasad. Kung gusto mo, fakid. Di ba? No matter how you pronounce it. If it's just a pasad, pa- paimbabaw lang, kahit isuot mo pa ang t-shirt na you belong to feast at home, ang, ang coat and so on, whatever you do externally is nothing compared if you're to if your soul will not be safe. I'm excited for the one big miracle, one big miracle, oh, slip of the tongue, there will be miracles today. The one big message is this, and I will highlight it for you, my dear friends. We become the Lord we follow. We become the Lord we follow. But Robert, parang iba yata ang one big message mo. Parang may nauna ako na panood na feast kanina. Actually, walang declare the one big message. But this is the impression I've been receiving from God. We've been following, following, following. Yes, it's not a sin to follow people in Instagram, in Pinterest, in Facebook. Like, I love you guys. Thank you very much for following me in my uh, Brother Ovet Cabrillas uh, page. And I love it. I love it. It's not, it's not bad to follow people. But when it's transforming you to becoming the person you don't want to become. I'm going to say it again. If the person, entity, organization, belief, principle, philosophy that you're following is changing you to become the person you don't want to become. I'm sorry, but I'm going to clear it toxic. Whoever you follow, whatever you follow, that is turning you to become the person you don't want to become. Sa Tagalog, nagiging ikaw yung taong kinaiinisan mo. Then that following is toxic. But today, we must follow whom we need to follow. And His name is Jesus Christ. And His beloved is called the church. And it is His beloved's birthday today. OMG! Another declaration. Kung birthday ng church ngayon, at ang lover ng church ay si Jesus Christ. Therefore, meron siyang surprise gift sa church niya. And let's claim it in Jesus' name. Okay, I want to start by a powerful question. Who do you follow? Don't be afraid to answer this. Whom do you follow? It, yes, you, you kindly kindly message me in the chat box, please. Kahit dito sa Facebook Live, sino mga pinafollow nyo? Hindi naman kasalanan. Sige, in Facebook, in Instagram, lagi mong ganun, yung name and then uh, Instagram and then uh, TikTok and then yeah, yung mga sino, mga pinafollow. Uh, I want to be honest with you. Siguro ako ang preacher na nagpa-follow sa Budo Brothers. Yung mga experts sa Arnis, sa martial arts, sa Filipino martial arts. I follow um, I follow Jim Ron. Before there was a John Maxwell, there's a Jim Ron. I follow uh, the great philosophical questions yan in Facebook Live. Of course, meron yata naka-automatic yung aking lahat ng accounts. Na, yes, I follow Bo Sanchez. Who do you follow? Sige, come on, type it. Parang natakot yata mga tao mag-chat ngayon. Uy, Mark is following Scott Hahn, a good person to follow. Once upon a time, he came from a family of senior pastors and he became Catholic. Selena Gomez naman si Reyna. Ibang klase. Dito kaya sa ating Zoom, sino kayo si... Bo Sanchez, Stephen Furtick, Simon Sinek. Parehas tayo, John, nang pinafollow. Okay, come on, keep it coming. Who do you follow? Who do you follow? Okay. But was there a time? Yes, it's not bad to follow to follow role models. I'm following Simon Sinek also. I think I, I gobbled up all the books that he he's written. Pero I think the ultimate goal of following is that when you see a touch of Jesus in that person's life. Sometimes I would listen to a Dalai Lama and see Jesus there. Sometimes I would la- listen to a senior pastor from the Protestant church or from another ministry, from another religion. And I see the tinge of Jesus Christ there. Yun yung sinasabi sa atin ni Saint uh, Pope John Paul II sa kanyang libro na A Threshold of Hope. He said that you must see the gem of Jesus Christ in whatever thought that you are learning. Ayan, Reina is also following Saint Therese of Lisieux. And then Anthony Samar, of course, the muscle man from, from the Middle East, is following Justin Patika. Kaya may ingay, ah. I, out, I, out, I outpushed up him. Last Kerygma conference that Justin Patika is here. Pero ang hindi ko na kaya sa kanya yung 
yung handstand push up just ko binubuhat yang kanyang katawan i'm going to say something that is very hard to swallow now but i'm going to be confronting you with the truth than comforting you with a lie ah parang kanta i'd rather ask you honestly than mislead you with a lie because sometimes we don't know it but we're actually following otherwise buti na lang nakakartoons ito we don't notice it but sometimes we're actually following the devil brother obet sobra ka na kaya nga nanonood kami ngayon sa feast because we're following jesus christ okay mamaya you will know why i put this uh, poster here this slide you will realize why and the most unlikely person to follow the devil will be revealed by jesus christ Okay. Sige, sige. Let's settle for that. No argument. You're not following the devil, but sometimes ito. Sometimes it's not about devil versus Jesus or Jesus versus the devil, but the real Jesus versus our version of Jesus. Yan ang malaking pagtutunggali. Yan ang matinding paglaban. We want Jesus to become our provider only. We want Jesus to become our miracle maker only. We want our Jesus to become a COVID-19 healer and extinguisher only. Kapag na yan yan ang tinatawag na we are boxing God. Hindi yung boxing na boxing God, no. Boxing God is trying to put him into a compartment and then you label it yourself. That's what I mean when I say Uh, our version of Jesus. Kapag nasa isang aspect ka lang ni Jesus nakatingin, you will be disappointed and you will be leaving the church one of these days. If you will not leave the church, you will stay but you will toxify the people around you. Because, yes, yes, Brother Obet, we're not following the devil but now you're making sense. We are trying to box Jesus Christ in such a way that we want him to be this. Ano kaya ang pakiramdam if Jesus is only a miracle maker? Question, do you want Jesus to answer every prayer that you ask? Ako, I stop thinking about that. Kasi the warrior in me, eh di ba mabait na ako. So I cannot fight anymore. It's a sin to hurt people. Pero my, my warrior mind sometimes would wish this way. Tubuan ka sana ng nang kulugo. Imagine, if I would blabber forth, bigla ko mapapabuntong hininga, madapa ka sana, mabukulan ka sana. Buti sana kung ang wish ay tumangkad sana kami ni Mark. Buti sana kung ganyan. But would you like a Jesus Christ who follows everything that you say? That's what we mean with boxing God. We always want a Jesus that is a version of our own making. Kaya nga, yung mga op- opposition ng Catholic Church would always say, Karl Marx would say that the religion is the opium of the people and other beliefs would say that religion is made for men so that the politicians could make them follow. During that time, kaya dinivide ang politics at saka ang religion. So let's continue on. Many follow their own version of Jesus. So beware, my dear friends, We have we have placed the people and the sites that we followed today and so on. Yes, they will be imperfect. Like my question is, ang galing-galing ni Simon Sinek, sana mag-mention siya about Jesus Christ. And I will disappoint you if I tell you that Simon Sinek is actually avoiding that issue. Not because he doesn't believe in Jesus, but he will not he will become compartmentalized also. Makakaon siya. So Even the Muslims will no longer follow him, the military men, because let's face it, some people are not lovers of Jesus. So I understand him. Not that I will imitate him, I understand him. Okay? But are we following our version of Jesus Christ? Maraming roles si Jesus Christ, but sometimes we want him to be healer only, shepherd only. Many people would want to follow Jesus Christ in his talks. Many people would want to follow Jesus Christ in his miracle making in his uh, in his multiplication ministry pero biglang nawala ang mga lagad 
nung pinag-uusapan yung carrying of the cross na. Are we a real follower of Jesus Christ? Or we follow our version of Jesus only? That's a question that we'll discuss all throughout the talk. And let me expose the word of God to you. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. Ang galing ano? Siguro sabi ni Lord, kung, ngayon, kung narito ngayon si Jesus Christ, siguro sasabihin niya, uh, anong sinasabi ng Instagram tungkol sa akin? Anong sinasabi ng Pinterest tungkol sa akin? So tingin sila sa cellphone, Lord, sabi ng iba, ikaw daw si John the Baptist. Ay, Lord, sabi ng iba, ikaw si Elijah. Alam nyo, they went to the, to the trending. <laughs> Have you ever wondered that anything that is trending won't bless you? I'm gonna say it again. Gano ba kahalagay mga trending sa atin? It's good. As a minister, you are aware of what's trending. But the trending things do not actually bless you. What, the, what is the significance of the Caesarea Philippi? Some people pronounce it as Philippi, but I heard some Americans pronounce it as Caesarea Philippi. This, this part in, in, the, in the map called Caesarea Philippi, notorious siya. Notorious siya as a center of all the other gods, small letter G. Masyadong ang dami dyan mga Greek gods and goddesses at uh, Sumarian gods and goddesses, kaya intentional na doon nagtanong si Lord. Kasi may mga sumusunod kay Jesus na nag expect na siya ang magiging God nila. Sa God na sila ang gumawa. That's the difference between Christianity and I, I believe the other religion. That Jesus Christ is the kind of God that follows you as you follow Him. ba? Diba? Pero yung, uh, yung iba, kailangan, kailangan sila lang ang masunod without consideration of the value of the human psyche and human spirituality. Again, a question is, who do you follow? Meron ba tayong nakatago? I'm sorry, but I have to be very blunt about it. I'm gonna preach while closing my eyes so that I will feel people's spirit, including my own. When the lights are turned off, And when no one is looking at you, who do you really follow? Who is it that you watch when you are in the restroom alone by yourself, gentlemen? Who is that that you follow or watch every time you're alone and your unguarded moments, ladies? See, this is it. We have other gods that we follow, including, including myself. Minsan, oftentimes, the, the tool of the devil is not anti-Jesus, it's all distraction. We, he wants us to be distracted from our focus. Let's continue exposing the word of God. Matthew 16:15. ito na ang tanong ni Jesus Christ. But who do you say that I am? Okay, yan ang popular sa Instagram, sa Pinterest, sa TikTok, sa Facebook, sa Twitter. Pero para sa'yo, sino ba talaga ako? Ayan. ba? Diba? Para sa'yo, sino talaga ako? Pagka meron akong event, tapos may in-charge sa pag introduce Brother Obet, how do you want me to introduce you? If the person is acquainted with me, like kaibigan ko na, I will just smile and tell that person, uh, brother, okay, uh, sister, kindly introduce me the way you know me. At, and 90% of the time, pag ini-introduce na, umiiyak sila. <laughs> umiiyak yung mga tao pag ini-introduce because they will remember the times that we shared, the brokenness. ba? Diba? Who do you say that I am? Because when that is the question, it, ito yung equivalent nun, sino ba talaga si Jesus sa puso mo? I have a co-missionary once upon a time when he was still living. Sabi ko, bro, sino talaga si Jesus sa puso mo? Pag ikaw ang tinanong niya, ikaw yung nasa gospel, alam mo, umiyak siya, sabi niya, Jesus is an oxygen to my life. So those who will attend later in, um, in talk time, this will be my second question. Who is Jesus really, really, really for you? Who is Jesus really for you? Walang Bible, Bible. 
sa personal experience niya mo kay Jesus. I know of a priest who told me, Jesus is my disturber. Sorry, brother. Pero dinidisturbo niya talaga ako. Dahil kilala niya ako eh. Pagka ako umaalagwa na kailangan akong disturbo yan. See? Even a, a sort of not so good word became positive when it becomes a description of Jesus Christ. Ayan. Here we go. Let this reverberate in you. When you follow God, it must be personal. Don't follow Jesus Christ only cerebral. Kahit gano'ng kakatalino, Christianity is not intellectual. Kahit gano'ng kakamapagmahal, don't follow Jesus Christ only emotionally. E paano kung hindi na okay emotion mo? Hindi ka nasusunod kay Jesus Christ. Who, don't just follow Jesus Christ because everything is trending. Nung, nung everything is live, okay ka, nawala, nalungkot ka. Nung nagmomomentum na naman sa feast at home, ang kas ka. Are you following Jesus Christ because it's a fad? Because of saying this, friends, I want to speak to your heart. Let us not be judgmental of the people who are no longer attending the feast. It doesn't mean that you are attending and serving in the feast and active in the renewal that you are really in the Lord. Oftentimes, the church people are the most judgmental people that I know. I should know I was judged when I was still active in my parish. Ang biro ko nga dyan, sorry for the word, I have to speak this. Sabi ko minsan, it's parish is equal to parish. Meron talaga persecution. I'm telling my wife kasi si Mami Joy active ngayon as lector commentator. Gusto niya, roll lang, tas alis ka agad. Ako dati may nanghusga sa akin eh. Cheester. Alam niyo ba yung cheester? cheester? Cheester is a sister na mahilig sa chismis. Eh di cheester. Sabi nga nun, Brother Robert, nakita ka namin sa may 7-11. Meron kang kinikisan. Tsaka inaabutan ng perang babae. Maganda. At nabuntis mo siya kasi buntis. Wow! Sabi ko, sister, tama sinabi mo. Oh, kita mo, kita mo, kita mo. Tuesday yan, di ba? Around 6.30 p.m. Oh, kita mo, kita mo. Tapos ang ganda-ganda ng babae, mistisa. Oh, kita mo, kita mo, kita mo. Tapos buntis siya. Oh, kita mo, kita mo. Tapos sinabutan ko pa siya ng pera. Oh, kita mo, kita mo, kita mo. Tapos kinis ko pa siya. Oh, kita mo na. Sabi ko, ate ko, mas mukhang bata sa akin. Buntis. Nangutang ako sa kanya. Nagbayad ako. Alam mo, sabi ng sister, nung chister, eh sabi ko na nga ba, huwag masyadong ano eh. Huwag masyadong judgmental yung iba. Tapos dun ko nalaman na merong safe friends at unsafe friends. Ang safe friends, yung vulnerabilities mo, kayo lang nakakaalam. Ang unsafe friend, tatlo lang kayo nakakaalam. Siya, ikaw, at saka yung buong simbahan. <laughs> diba? Beware, beware. You're following Jesus Christ must be personal. Okay, we continue on. Only you can sacrifice your life to God. Ayan. That is what we mean by really following Jesus Christ. When we say, less of me, more of Jesus, less of Obed, more of Jesus, less of Jerry, more of Jesus, less of Mark, more of Jesus, less of John Jomampo, more of Jesus. That's what we mean by sacrifice. Nawawala na ang dati mong pagkatao. Your individuality is still there, but you're becoming more and more like Jesus Christ. We continue on. Simon Peter said in reply, ito, Peter saved the day. You are the Messiah, the Son of the Living God. Wow! Saan galing yun? Because nakaka, nakakamangha na sinabi to ng isang ordinaryong manging isda. Because it's deeply theological. Let me bring to you the word. The word Mashiach is, the other word for Mashiach is anointed. One. Literally. At dyan galing ang Christos or Christ, the anointed one. During the Old Testament days, only the king and the prophet are anointed with holy oil or their version of the holy oil at saka ano to ha, talagang basang-basa yung yung ano mo yung yung ulo mo hanggang beard. Kaya nga sabi the anointing is flowing from the head down to the beard of the of the prophet. But Jesus Christ among all the anointed is the anointed with a capital A N O I N T E D. The Christ of God, the Messiah of God. Yun ang, ang yun ang tinutukoy nila. So here we go again with the power question. 
if Jesus asks you today, who do you follow? What will you answer? Okay, I'll give you a few moments this time. Okay, pag share natin sa talk time, pero sample natin ngayon. People in Facebook Live, please answer this. If Jesus is here and ask you, uh, who, who, who am I? What will you answer? Or who do you follow? Galing, no? Come on, keep it coming. And we move on. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. Sa ibang version ng Bible, if you're using an old Bible, nakalagay doon, Blessed are you, Simon, Barjona. Barjona. Ang ibig sabihin ng Barjona ay anak ni Jonah. Ang ibig sabihin ng Bartolome ay anak ni Tolome. So pag may bar is son of. Hindi daw siya yan galing sa sarili niya, but it's the anointing coming from God that revealed it. Ganda, no? Pero ito na ang shock. Ang shock of all shock because today is Pentecost and it's a coincidence. It's a divine coincidence that we're discussing about the power of the church. And Jesus said, So I say to you, you are Peter and upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples not to tell No one that he is the Messiah. Brother Obet, may simbahan ba doon sa Caesarea Philippi? Meron, meron. Pero when we think about the church, especially now that, we can, that it's very difficult for us to attend the church live, I want to show you what in the world is the church. This is the church. I want you to look closely how the church looks like. This is the church. Look closely. This is the church. Yan ang paborito ko. Brother Obet, puro image lang yun ng structure. Ah. Tapos image ng cross. Tapos lahat tao na. Yes, yes, yes. That is the church. The heart of the church is, if you spell it, C-H-U-R-C-H. The heart of the who is the heart of the church? You are. C H. You are C H. Tayo ang simbahan. So, the first pope was Simon Peter. He was initially Simon. The meaning of Simon is flaky. Parang sky flakes, crumbly. Brother Robert, ang lalalim naman ng mga flaky at crumbly. Gusto niyo yung tagalog? Wag niyo ako ng na. Marupok. Oh, ayan na. Ayan tayo, Jerry. Ah. <laughs> Mga marupok na tao. Madaling hindi ako naruan na yung iiwan. Diba? Ang tao'y marupok kay daling lumimot. Ganyan tayo. Imagine from a marupok, from a flake one, from a Simon, he was declared, you are Peter. And upon this rock, I will build my church, my church, my church, the people of God. Di ba napakaganda? Palakpakan nga natin si Lord. God is a good God, right? Up, ito, na, ito nga lang. Ito na yung anti, anti-climatic. <laughs> Minsan ganyan si Lord eh. Nasa high moment ka. Yes, maraming umaten. Yes, powerful yung worship. Yes. Minsan ganyan si Lord. Nambabasag ng trip. But kaya, okay, I'm gonna show you. After showing Peter's wisdom, he shows Peter's foolishness. Grabe naman si Lord, but niya ginawa yun? You will know later why. From that time on, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes to be killed on the third day. Ayan na! Then Peter took him aside. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> and began, sobrang powerful, nauubo ko. And began to rebuke him, saying, God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. Look at this, my dear friends. He turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. Kapaw, di ba? Kanin-kanina lang, it was not flesh and blood that revealed that to you, 
you are you are amazing, you're fantastic, you're the best. May nanalo na, sabi ni Lord kay Peter. Pero konting verse lang, dalawang verse lang pagtapos sa kanya sinabi, Get thee behind me, Satan. Yung unang-unang pop sinabihan ni si Satanas ka. Ang tindi. Why? Why? We will discover why. Because Jesus saying, get rid of the temptation. Peter, masyado kang, ang ganda ng sinabi mo kanina, it's not coming from you that I am the anointed one, I am the Messiah, I am the Christ. Pero ito ka na naman, nagpadala ka ng orientation mo. May temptation tayo na tinatawag na mag-accommodate. Write down in your writings, accommodate or compromise to the kind of culture that we have. Ang kultura ni San Pedro ay kultura ng temptation pulling you away from Christ. Let's pray for Israel now. They're, they're having trouble again. They are having war. I've been to the Holy Land three times. But I, 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 I sadly declare to you, The Holy Land, Israel is so rich, so beautiful. People are beautiful. Kahit sundalo, uh, sundalo at pulubi, magaganda pa rin. But what if I tell you, it's called the Holy Land where Jesus walked. But no, no one there would believe in Jesus Christ. No one is a Christian. Of course, meron. There's, there's a minority. And it's a good, good news that I want to declare to you to, to counter what I've said. Kasi it's... it's called the pilgrimage site, the best pilgrimage site, the place where Jesus walked, but no one would believe that Jesus Christ is the real Messiah. But there's something in trending now. Share ko sa inyo. Many Jewish people are now believing that Jesus is the Messiah. Hallelujah! Kaya grabe ang anointing nito mga to. But please get rid of the temptation. What kind of temptation? Peter was a product of his culture. Ano bang culture ito? The culture that wants Jesus Christ to be something else. They want Jesus Christ to be a political leader will deliver them from the rule of the Roman Empire. They want a Jesus Christ riding on a horse and declaring war to the colonizers called the Romans. Gusto nila yung Messiah with a sword. Look, kahit ako eh, to be honest with you, I want a Jesus Christ who's a steed. Parang ganyan. But lo and behold, who is the Jesus Christ that visited us? He's riding on a donkey. Di ba isa sa pinakanakakatawang hayop ay ang donkey? <laughs> yung kabayo, siga. <laughs> Di ba? E yung donkey. Ha. Bakit sumasakay ang hari sa kabayo? Pag sumakay ang hari sa kabayo, isa ang statement sa lahat na nasasakupan. I'm waging war. Pag, ang sumakay, pag sumakay ang hari sa isang donkey, sa isang asno, sa isang buriko, ang sinasabi, I have come in peace. So this is the Messiah that we want to follow. He is always a Messiah of peace. Tanong, may kapayapaan ba sa puso mo? Is the Messiah in your heart a God of peace? Or you feel like striking on somebody? Sige nga, Research natin yung puso natin. Check your heart. I know we checked the, our hearts many, many feasts ago. But if you check your heart, may anger ba doon? Meron bang ganito doon? May gustong maghiganti? Rumes back? Tagain yung mga tao? Or the Jesus that is real is a Jesus of peace? Alam nyo, for, for the first decade of my transformation, it's very challenging. Because my orientation is that of a fight. I'm going to share with you a little something. I just, I just stapled something uh, underneath the stairway. You know what happened? Because of my sabi natin, physical strength, nasira ko. Nasira ko yung ano. I'm, I'm good at really just damaging properties. Tapos sabi ko, I will have to fix it. Ang ganda na sinabi ni Reese. Daddy, we know you're strong, but but we're not so familiar with you fixing things. Mas mas kilala na nila na masisirain ko mga bagay. So ang nilabas ko ay isang hindi hindi ano, hindi martilyo. You wanna see? <laughs> hindi martilyo yung pinang hammer ko. I'm a collector of something. Ito yung nilabas ko. 
it's a it's a it's an axe it's a hammer and it's a crowbar so i use this to to fix it see that's the builder that you have see so so i'm i'm good at using weapons or weaponizing things but it's just a skill and i will no longer use it yun lang just telling you that i must choose the god of peace right now in my life and to tell you hindi madaling sumunod sa god of peace why look every other messiah sheds the blood of his enemies to win but the messiah or messiah of jesus sheds his own blood so that others will win wala na wala ka nang argument doon i am now a religion teacher i am now an online professor in subject matters called um, religion and um, uh, personal development habang nag-aaral ako umiiyak ako sa kanila kita ng ganung professor kasi nga in other religions in other holy bible or holy holy scriptures like the tripitaka the talmud and all the other books totoo to the other messiah or the other redeemers they want the enemies to shed blood so that they would win but in christianity the god of peace ito yung kanyang journey papunta nang jerusalem eh, is willing to shed his own own blood for all of us why because peter got the title jesus right but he didn't get his heart omg again let's test our hearts is our hearts following the messiah of peace or we want to follow a messiah with a sword let's continue on pero obet sana hindi na lang natin diniskas para kang may nirereveal sa ako okay magalala prepress lang tayo di lalo na ako the word of god will really reveal our hearts then jesus said to his disciples whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself take up his cross and follow me for whoever wishes to save his life will lose it but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it that's the jesus that we know we're about to end and this is the point jesus is not asking us come and live comfortable he's asking us come and die and you'll truly live kasi alam niyo pag tinuro na kung na, na, nabubuhay ka sa panahon ni Jesus Christ siguro ang daming umalis noon nung ang tinuturo niya um, if you want to follow me deny yourself take up your cross omg siguro maraming nag-unfollow sa kanya because taking up the roman cross it's not a hebrew tradition of capital punishment the capital punishment of hebrews is stoning to death pero the capital punishment given to jesus christ was crucifixion on the cross kasi walang nagbubuhat ng cross na hindi ipapako doon that's why the power message that i shared with you a while ago is this parang tatanggapin mo na na mamamatay ka sa sarili mo it's not live a comfortable life no come and die and you'll truly live before we end this ask yourself during pentecost what what are the things in your life that has to die so that others would live what are the things in your life or aspect in your life that has to die so that others would live because the one big message would be we become like the lord we follow and if your lord is willing to sacrifice himself on the cross and shed blood we must follow it also in jesus name we end by by sharing with you what happened in the pentecost Acts chapter 1 verse 8 you will receive power when the holy spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses to the ends of the earth i want you to glance at that a little bit for a few seconds yes it's true that you see mama mary at the center because if you read from acts 1 verse 14 it was mama mary leading them into prayer and then the powerless people 
the powerless people during that time, the fearful people gathered in the first Pentecost. They're gathered in the upper room because they are afraid. Because their hero is gone. Their Jesus Christ died. But they don't get it. That their leader has to die so that they will live. So ask yourself in this Pentecost, what are the aspects in your life that has to die so that others would live? Is it pride that has to die so that others will live? Is it vices that should die so that others would live? Is it lust that should, shall die so that you could purely love others? What has to die in our lives? Father in heaven, we call upon the grace and the power of the Pentecost. Let there be anointing right this very moment. Forgive us from following our version of Jesus. And along the way, we are following the wrong gods with a small letter G. Today, we must die to that, Lord. We must die to pride. We must die to selfishness. We must die of rage, God. Forgive us. Forgive us because sometimes we follow what other people would want us to become, not what you want us to become. We accommodate other people's demands, but not your demand. Today at Pentecost, brothers and sisters, raise up your hand because empowerment will take place. Today at Pentecost, we declare at this very moment that you will be anointed by God in such a way that the best version of yourself will come out and bless the world. I'm going to say it again. The best version of yourself will come out fear, fearless, selfless, so that you will bless the world in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's respond, church, in our birthday. Let us worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your name.